Hi there, this is Jen, and thanks so much for joining me on the Scrapbook Pal YouTube channel today. Today we're gonna make one card together, and then I have several other examples that I made using the same product. So I'm going to be using the Spellbinders Country Wheelbarrow, the Spellbinders Seasonal Decor Dies, which gives you dies for every season. And then I'm going to be using this all to new stencil called um, Sphere Stencil. And then the stamp set with the sentiments is from Spellwinders called Seasonal Motifs. And then the um, essential arches from Spellbinders as well. And I always like to keep the packaging visible so that I can um, figure out how to put the die together, especially uh, when I'm using it for the first time. I love the little details of the um, wood grain pattern that is already etched into those dies, so you don't have to worry about using wood grain paper or making your own, own wood grain. And so to kind of bring that wood grain out, I've gone ahead and I've um, cut my pieces and I'm using some teal paper for this first card and I am using some Distress Ink and Vintage Photo and a finger dauber just to go over the um, die piece and give it a little bit of an aged look um, and also bring out some of that wood grain. And so this the basket is really easy to put apart. Um, you just got the side and then you've got the back piece. Uh, if you're filling up the cart or the wagon wheelbarrow, <laughs> um, you might not even need that back piece. But I went ahead and I glued them all together uh, on this first one. Um, I just made sure to leave a little bit of the bottom portion of that side piece open so that I can insert my um, items into the wheelbarrow. And then you've got the kind of that trim piece that's going to kind of clean up the edges where the wheelbarrow meets. And then you've got the little, um, I don't know what you call that, the part that's gonna hold the wheel um, basically. And so the wheel has got the wheel portion and then it's got um, one piece that goes on the right side, one that goes on the left side, and it's kind of just uh, to give the wheel a little bit of dimension and make it, it look like they're, um, it's not a flat wheel. And then you've got some little pieces that kind of go with the wheel. You've got the um, kind of circle that goes in the center of the wheel, and then there's a tiny little die piece that goes through that that's going to basically um, be the, I don't know the parts of a wheelbarrow, but it's going to go where those little dots on that wheelbarrow die piece are. Um, so really easy to put together. And then for the actual items that I'm going to put in this first wheelbarrow, I am using some dies from the Seasonal Decor um, a die set. And so I went ahead and I grabbed the pumpkins. So this first card I'm going to make um, kind of a fall card. The thing I like about the seasonal decor die set is you can use them um, with this wheelbarrow set or you can use them as standalone on cards. But I like that there's kind of a um, die for every season of the year. And so I went ahead and I added a little bit of black to this purple cardstock, a little bit of an orange to the orange cardstock. I was trying to make the purple pumpkin an eggplant. Um, <laughs> So that is why I did that in uh, purple. And so I'll just add a little bit of glue and add those three to the wheelbarrow. And then really you can add anything to the wheelbarrow. I love the cards that have been made, filling it with the flowers. Um, that's really, really pretty. And then I'm going to take one of the essential arches and cut a piece of white cardstock out. And then I'm going to use this uh, with the arch facing down basically. And I'll go ahead and add that Alta New Sphere stencil over the top. And then I am using some Distress Inks and Vintage Photo, Ground Espresso, and Black Soot. And so I'll go ahead and blend those through that stencil. And then I am going to add the sentiment to this card. And the sentiment that I'm using is from a stamp set by Spellwinders um, called Seasonal Motifs. And it matches perfectly with the seasonal decor dies, even though um, I'm pretty sure they came out at different times and they're different designers. So um, it fits perfectly if you already have that 
um, stamp set. There's a sentiment for um, pretty much every season. And so it fits perfectly with that die set. And then once I have that stamped up, I did originally mount this onto a white card base. Um, and then I added a little bit of foam behind that wheelbarrow to pop that up. And then to finish the card off, I am using some of the Pink Fresh Studio glitter drops in champagne. Um, and you'll notice when I show the cards that I actually changed this one up to uh, have a teal background instead of a white just to get the um, arch shape of the card to stand out a little bit more. And so that's gonna finish off this card. And then the other two cards that I made off camera are a Christmas card using those dies from the seasonal decor die set, a present, some logs, and a star are on this one. And then for the third card, I did an Easter theme. So I have the carrots and the Easter eggs. And again, this is from the seasonal decor um, a die set. And all the products that I used are the same for each card. Just the colors have been changed up uh, a little bit. So um, I hope you enjoyed. This was a super fun project. And uh, like I mentioned, it's really fun to kind of have um, items that coordinate really well together so that you can make um, lots of different seasonal cards, uh, but not have to have a lot of supplies to do so. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you would give a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the Scrapbook Pal YouTube channel so you get all of the great inspiration from the design team. Um, thanks so much for joining me today and I hope to see you next time.